here and we're off to Livorno. So you've got baby wear and socks. You know, the really, really typical loads of shoe shops. Oh, look at all those glittering shoes. Lots of sandals. Oh gosh, this is where I needed to come when I was looking for summer sandals and I couldn't find any. 10 euro shirts. <laughs> all sorts of things. This is a good place to come and shop. There we go. And then the food stalls are inside and Owen was telling me that it's far more authentic and even better than the ones in Florence in his opinion. So let's go indoors. Look at this wonderful entrance. What a beautiful building. Market buildings are often fantastic, I find, in Italy. Um, this one has some pretty awesome graffiti art just at the entrance as well. But let's go inside these wonderful doors and see what we find. <laughs> uh, Owen was just saying let's do the fishy park first, but look at this gorgeous interior. And to the right are the fish markets. So we're going to head down here. Lovely little cafe bar there. Oh my gosh, I love things like this. Take off my sunglasses now that I'm indoors. How beautiful. Oh, this is just extraordinary. I love the architecture. Isn't it beautiful? And then you've just got every single type of fish, fresh fish. There's no yucky smell in here, ladies and gentlemen. This is when you know you're somewhere where it's really super fresh because there's no awful smell. There's just the smell of the sea. And it's so wonderful. Oh, I love this. Absolutely fantastic. I love Ray. I used to eat it quite a lot in France. I'm just looking at all these yummy fish. I miss having fish. What a variety. Raza, Fitura. Gamberi. Gamberos. Yeah. Gambari Rossi. We get a lot of these in Australia. We call them king prawns in Australia. Yeah. yeah. Orate, that's a beautiful fish. Orate spicola. Calamari, little baby ones, yeah. Octopus sepia. Fantastic. <laughs> wow, look at all the wonderful shellfish. Pietruzze, tannine, oysters, mussels, granchi blu, blue crabs, cotze, which are mussels, little baby mussels. How oh, fabulous. Wow, look at all these beautiful olives. Oh gosh. And then they've got beautiful basil. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Ciao. Che bella bottiglia di olio. Buonissimo. <laughs> this is you for you, Mum and Papa. One of your favourite stock. Stock a fisso pulito, mio bacala, filetto di bacala, there you go. Your favourites. Little baby bugs like we have in Sydney. Some lovely fresh tuna. All these lovely little ones here as well, they're great. A chunky anchovies, fresh anchovies. I love how the swordfish still has its sword and he's got something sticking on the end of it so it doesn't poke his eye out. <laughs> so now we're in another section, so you've got panetteria, polleria, so chicken obviously, and there's eggs there. We've got fruits and vegetables, macelleria, that cantina is closed and obviously some, um, it, Neve was saying some of them only are here really really early in the morning and because we're already, it must be close to 11 I suppose now or gone 11, didn't even look at the time, <laughs> some of them would already be come and gone. More bread, this is obviously the bread section but I just can't get over all these beautiful places. Nocineria. Oh, with all the salamis and things over there. 
and then you have even a, a profumeria, different household things. It's a real mix, you can get everything. Oh my goodness me, wow, look at this. Oh, this is just insanely beautiful. Oh, I'm a real architecture nerd. Some of you may have already understood. If you haven't, I'm telling you now. <laughs> I've been a frustrated architect since I was a child. I think I've always been drawing houses and designing them. And oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. Oh, I'd be here all the time if I was living here. Oh, formaggio. Oh, oh. Look at those beautiful little perette sarde. Caccio cavallo Puglia. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so hungry already and I've only just had breakfast a little while ago. This is driving me nuts. Too much good food. Oh, look at these big chunks of beef. You carnivores out there that love your beef. My goodness, some big Fiorentina there to be had. Oh, it's just amazing. These people are even doing little bruschette there. Can... Oh, roast potatoes. Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. We are so hungry. <laughs> it's wonderful. Beautiful architectural features on this building. It's so, so lovely. There are wonderful sculptures of what seem people reap with their... It looks like they're holding on to their harvest. Just beautiful. Funghi porcini, more beautiful. Prosciutto, more incredible cheese. Oh, my mouth is just watering. This is insane. Foodies, heaven. Sono in paradiso. We are intrigued with these really super white Vivornese eggs. Posso chiedere la qualche cosa perché sì. quelli livornesi sono così bianche? Perché la gallina livornese le fa solo bianche, è la gallina livornese. Di natura? È sì, così. di natura. Wow! Se guarda lei c'è una foto, la gallina è bianca. Oh. Vabbè, ah. la gallina è bianca. Okay, so the gentleman said to me, because the chickens are so white, they naturally just have very, very white eggs. So it's nothing peculiar, it's just the chicken in Livorno. So there you go. Grazie mille! <laughs> oh no, we're just looking at these beautiful burgers and they've got tartufo, which is travel, porcini, mushrooms, um, sausage, scamorza, sausage, cipolos, which is onion, canina, oh there's a spinach one here, oh my lord, oh, I'm just getting looking, oh turkey burgers, actually I love turkey burgers actually, oh I'm getting hungrier by the moment <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me Neve's just opening up our goodies that we got so two lemon and one chocolate I'm, not, I'm sure we'll be able to tell which one the chocolate one is so we're having a little coffee and a gorgeous little what were these called again Arogostini Arogostini si Agostini Buon appetito! <laughs> yes, yeah, it looks really yummy. So we're having that with just a little coffee break, we're sitting here in the center of this beautiful marketplace, which I'm enchanted by. So we've now walked out the other side. An Angelo Badoni in Architetto. Oh, it's got the name of the architect. 1889 to 1894. Fantastic, and this side now has brought us out onto these wonderful canals and waterways that run all throughout the city, obviously coming in from the sea. I can't believe the thousands of boats that just line both sides the whole way through, but isn't that gorgeous? And they obviously have boat tours that take you through the canals. Oh, it's a bit like being in Paris, isn't it? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> There's that beautiful market building there that we just came out of. And we're now just venturing down to what they call Little Venice. 
just looking at this pretty bike. I used to have a white bike when I lived in Manly when I was young. We were looking at this building and thinking, now hang on, from a distance it looked like it was falling apart. But no, that's graffiti. Not graffiti, wall art, let's say. Oh, and there's a lovely boat. Someone's got a lovely long boat that they're going up the canals in. How gorgeous. Marco Polo. And they've got their music going. <laughs> Super cool. This is really lovely. Thank you for bringing me, Owen and Neve. <laughs> going towards, let me go before I get run over, the fortress. And more canals, more water, nice place to sit and eat over there, evidently. Oh, it's just gorgeous. This is lovely, so that's obviously one of the points of the fortress. And I was just looking at this really cute little place down here in the water by the arches as well. Isn't that sweet? And then there's a lovely baptistry up behind. Oh, this is really, really sweet. I had no idea. It was so lovely. I'm so glad I've come. Oh, that's where you get the boat tours from. How cute. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, that's a sweet little boat there by that other bridge. It's a bit like being in a seaside Venice of the south, of the west coast, I should say. <laughs> Tuscan version of. There you go. That's why they call it Little Venice. tours leave from how sweet and the lady was just saying it's 12 euros per person oh that's a long boat tour 40 minutes yeah we just heard this is not what i was expecting to find as i first walked into this fortress a very unusual piece of modern art which is part of the confusione confusione <laughs> festival it's so the confusion festival how cute so here we go in Garasso hmm, let's see where this dark passageway takes us to una fortezza tutta nuova da scoprire let's have a look this is a bit exciting isn't it it's pretty awesome actually Discovered a stage area because Owen and Neva were telling me they hold events in here so now we know where which is lovely with the backdrop of the the ruins the walls of the fortress behind it's a really large flat roof area there I'm not sure if that's used for anything
Now that's a lovely bunch on view of Piazza della Repubblica. I was just saying it's like an old-fashioned hippodrome where you would have, I could just imagine the chariots and horses racing around there. It's so vast actually, it's a really big square. Having such a wonderful day. You really must come to Livorno. I think it's a bit maligned. It's not really doesn't have the reputation of so many other places, but I'm really enjoying this. Yes, there are areas that are very modern, but um, they all seem to it's a bit of a mishmash, but like a, a well-conceived mishmash, if you can understand. And I think in that way there's something for everyone. And it's vibrant and there's like quiet spots and then there's really busy spots it's got kind of everything that you want in a smaller city and having these waterways and as you can see these beautiful breezes that are probably coming in from the coast in fact we're right on the coast so just beyond me here i'm walking towards it at the moment i think um yes it, it's really really lovely i do recommend it and take no notice of the outskirts they're very industrial you've got to get past that and come into the heart of the city itself and I think you'll enjoy it yet another lovely little spot and I was just looking at the building directly ahead that person has washing out exactly the same color as the outside of their building obviously a favorite color <laughs> I was just impressed by this rather elegant bottle of mineral water Varna and I realized it was Aqua Minerale Naturale di Toscana so local and we're just going over the menu and just about to choose here's the young lady so this is our kind of main that we're sharing and Owen has tucked in so fast that he's just totally spoiled the shot <laughs> Owen how could you do such a thing Anyway, so we have, these are fish with, what was underneath this? Chechi. On, on a, so chechi, on a chickpea, mm, like a hummus, she said, yes. Then the other one was meat in like a ragu sauce, sort of, if you like, kind of thing. And these ones are vegetarian, so they're all little polpetti on a bed of gorgonzola. Yum, I love gorgonzola. And Neven and I, the Verma cheers, Neven, the Verma, oh gee, that sky's blue, oh, um, the, the little glass of Vermentino was too tempting to not get a second one, poor Owen, who's the designated driver, <laughs> never mind, bon appetito, bon appetito. What an amazing blue sky. Full steam ahead. Ooh, I missed that crossing. Gonna have to catch up. One of the main streets here with shopping and cafes, so don't let them get run over. <laughs> and just looking at this beautiful facade of this church. Stunning, popular little street here. But we're so glad we looked down here to eat, but we're so glad we didn't come and we followed the advice of an online review to go to the little place we went to, the Osteria, because it, the food was just fantastic and the service was great, lovely people. Really, really highly recommend and I'll have the details for it in the description. 
old for thread sign and we went into the new for thread sign. We are now down by the sea. And we are headed for, what's it called where we are headed for? Terrazzo Mascani. Terrazzo Mascani? Mascani. Mascani. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is a beautiful promenade on the seafront that is very well known for Livorno, which I've seen in many, many photos, but I've obviously never been, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it. But it's drivable distance from where we were, otherwise it was going to be nearly a five kilometre walk, I believe, so after a nice lunch and some Yavamantine on, I don't think any of us were going to manage that. We're just outside the Aquarium, which is the aquarium of Livorno. We are absolutely on the sea front now. We're not visiting the Aquarium today. We're, we're going straight to the lovely checkered walkway. Or, sorry, promenade that I was talking about on the seafront. Which is very, Livorno is very renowned for it. Nice little bar here. So let's see what we find. Nice little beachfront cafe. A few people sitting back there next to the aquarium. And here we go. So Livorno is renowned, as I said, absolutely renowned. Any pictures you see on Instagram of Livorno always feature these promenades along the seafront. And evidently it goes for a long way, a long, I'm not sure how long, but I think Owen did mention maybe for a few kilometres along the seashore. And I can see that, and there's some really beautiful, elegant buildings in the distance. This is where you get some of the lovely, to go with the start of the promenade, at one period of time, I'd say they look like possibly 1800s, early 1900 buildings that are really, really elegant along the seafront. Obviously, telltale signs that we're near a port. There are not a very large ships out on that horizon, but the Mediterranean is beautiful today, absolutely spectacular. And let me show you when I get a little bit closer. After two glasses of Barmantino with lunch, I didn't know whether my eyes were going crazy, <laughs> whether it was the wine, but I believe it's not the wine. I believe that it's actually amazing. We were saying, as you look at the, into the distance on these, initially it's just a straight checkerboard. Further along, it becomes a zigzag, and then it turns into like a hand's tooth pattern. Your eyes play games on you. It's, quite odd <laughs> but it's really really lovely and all the way down the coast I can see like little beach clubs and we were just saying how beautiful and clear the water was here let me walk over and show you it's just crystal clear actually it's so tempting how I would love to jump into that water lovely 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 There's a, now, in English you might call it a bandstand or a folly in the centre there. And 
they're getting closer down to one of the first what looks like a beach club I can see umbrellas and there are people out here on this little what a boardwalk it looks from here I think it looks like a concrete strip perhaps going out into the water which obviously would sometimes be in the water in fact it looks very wet I think they're they are having water jump over them but um almost like a little pier or a breakwater or something lots of big ships out on the horizon can you see those and we were pointing out before that there are some islands we've worked out that some of the smaller islands are going there's Caprera somewhere out on the horizon in the mist and this one I can't remember the name something Toscano I think it was and the little traghetto, or the ferry boat, just came in. Now, I think that could be one of the lovely large hotels that I noticed when I was looking for places to stay if you were to come to Livorno, because I remember it was literally opposite, sorry, opposite the beach clubs and things here. And it looks like a beautiful, elegant place, and it's a spa hotel as well and with a really good reputation so that might be a lovely place to come and spend the night if you want to just stay over in Livorno and have that real seaside experience but you can see it was once a very very elegant city and of course it's grown up like many cities do and it has its modern parts and it has its you know shabbier <laughs> parts like all cities do but I'm really enjoying my day here by the sea and it's really lovely. Aren't we? That's gorgeous. There's the mud. 